Is there a correlation of movement and concussion? We've already kind of talked about that one a little bit. Is a, a predictor of future joint health. One of the things that we measure is called a lateral shift. If I put a plumb line right down the center of you and I have you squat, your hips should remain relatively equal distance from that plumb line, okay? It's normal for people to shift back and forth between that plumb line. It's not normal for people to shift greater than eight degrees off to one side. We've seen people shift eight, 10, 15, 20, 30 degrees off to one side. We started measuring this over 12 years ago. Three years ago was the first paper published on this. They called it a lateral displacement of the pelvis during a squatting motion. Much more articulate than I, but the concept is the same. And guess what? You put more pressure on your hip joint, more pressure on the knee joint, on the side that you shift to. You change link tension relationships. Quadriceps and hamstrings can never be the same. You wonder why that ACL has a quad deficit? Look at their shift. Nine times out of 10, they've got a massive lateral shift away from that side. That means every time they sit on the bed, every time they sit on the commode, and when they squat, they're shifting away from that side. 